<sighs> so I want to make a quick video about things um, that you need to think about. So the, the first thing is, you know, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, I'm, I'm spent the day, well, not the day, I went to the gym, lifted weights. I mean, there's got to be a balance to life. Uh, I'm kind of proud of myself. I did a pretty good day with doggone routine for an old fart like me. But um, but anyway, um, so then I came home and, uh, you know, it's kind of nice without my wife here and, you know, uh, now that we're divorced and because uh, that was kind of what I do is I go into the office and I'd work on uh, edumacation and, uh, and my videos and uh, the computers and everything else. So I just kind of wanted to just talk about that a little bit. So the, the first thing that, that I have verified now with multiple YouTube videos, and in fact, it was through um, DaVinci, uh, the company. I went to the company's website. They have a number of educational videos if you ever want to learn about their software. And uh, they did say that the quality setting on the delivery tab when you're going to render the video uh, should be upped. And, and they were recommending like I don't know, it was a low number, 1,200 or so. I don't know why they default to, if they're going to default to 10,000, why not default to a, a higher number? I, I don't understand that. But a guy on YouTube said set that to 30,000. So I'm always trying to educate you about making videos because that's what I'm learning. I'm kind of trying to take you along the journey with me. You know, I'm trying to take you along the journey. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's not all about making videos. I've been in the computer industry, well, I was in the computer industry for 28 years. And, uh, and of course, you know, I've built computers and I've bought laptops. And I mean, right now, I mean, my MSI creator, the speaker's bad on it. I'm going to have to call them and discover what's going on with that because it's still under warranty. I just bought it back in June. And this is the, the stuff you run into, you know, and um, I don't know if you follow my channel. I've run into stuff with the, the smartphone. All this technology is... It's a huge, huge uh, commitment, you know, and uh, hell, I got I got equipment that I bought that I haven't even used yet because, <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, I've been going through a divorce and I've been going through uh, a life's events. And and now I talk to my uh, I'm just crying on your shoulder for just one teeny weeny second. You know, I talked to my uh, stepsister up in Virginia and my mom, she's not even eating at this point. So I don't I, I obviously I'm going to have to go up to Virginia and I can't. I'm not going to drive a $50,000, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean to my mom, and, and I could fly in, I guess, but in Lynchburg, Virginia is like the worst place in the world to fly into. Um, but anyway, that's, that's, that's just my problems. But So let's get back to um, what I wanted to talk about, which is uh, I've, I've been basically focused the last three days. I have two servers, and I have one uh, advanced uh, MSI Creator uh, 2021 laptop uh, for creating videos. And that's what I use. Okay. And, and by the way, that's the MSI creator is the only computer that I can update to Windows 11. And would I recommend that? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I've had a lot of problems updating it to 11. Now, I was trying to like set registry keys and do all kinds of crazy shit. Uh, but you know what? I'm just going to wait for the, um, the updates to come down because it did fix some problems that I had in Windows 10 with that computer. But at the same time, it created problems in Windows 11 with the taskbar. And I've tried various things. And, you know, it's, it, you can only dive down that rabbit hole so far. And so I, I'm thinking Microsoft, uh, even though they're losing money right now, their stock took a big dip. Um, but, I, you know, I'm thinking they'll probably come out with an update in the next couple of months. And right now it's usable the way it is. And, and, and actually, like I said, it fixed some of the problems. But so here's, here's what I'm trying to tell you. All right. It's, it's very, very important, okay, uh, because of ransomware and viruses and everything else. You know, I use CCleaner, and th that's why I'm called that cybersecurity guy. I use malware bytes. I scan the computers on a regular basis. Uh, I, sometimes I do a full scan with MS Defender. Uh, and then, of course, I try to keep... And, and by the way, you, if you want to think that your automatic updates are updating the computers, you really need to, to go and, and manually update the computers. And you're going to be surprised at all the updates it finds. Uh, manually, and you're thinking, well, why didn't it update automatically? Oh, geez, you know, and, and this is where, you know, I'm not recommending you go with Microsoft. I'm not recommending you go with Apple. I, I like Linux myself, you know, um, and in fact, I, I'll be running some virtual machines on these computers eventually. But the thing is, what I'm telling you is you have to keep them up to date. And that means keeping all your downloads updated, uh, creating a system image to back up. Uh, of course, now I've got 
tons and tons of videos, so I'm backing those up to backup devices. Now, somehow in my trip to Virginia, I lost a backup device. I don't even know where it is. So I had to buy another one. Well, guess what? Five terabytes, five terabytes for $100, okay? So right now I'm in here, uh, I'm, I'm reformatting a hard drive. And, uh, and so I'm backing up all of my uh, videos and everything else. And then I'm going to create what's called a system image backup. If you type in Windows 7 system image backup or whatever at the, at the start command prompt, you can start creating a system image. So I've got three computers that I'm going to back up to that five terabyte hard drive. And these are the things that you need to do. And, and I understand it takes a lot of time. Sometimes you got to take some time off from, um, you know, just plowing forward in life. You know, I'm, like I talked to my stepsister today, you know, she's working, you know, crazy legs off 10 hours a day. She comes home, she watches TV and she goes to bed, you know, but she's still got a computer. And I asked her, I said, when was the last time that you updated that computer? And she goes, I don't know. But can you imagine how devastating it would be? I mean, we do our banking on the computers. We do uh, our email on the computers. You know, you got to update those email applications. You got, you know, there's there's so many things that you use that computer for. It's not it's not an appliance that you can just you know like a microwave that you grew in and, and then you're done. And you know, when it fails, you buy a new microwave. No, you you've got to continuously work on that because it's such an integral part of your life. So I guess that's that's kind of the. The point of this video. Uh, so I bought it, like I said, I bought a new backup device. Now, is one backup device enough? No. No, you're going to want to have multiple backup devices. So I actually have two Western Digital uh, 5 terabyte backup devices, uh, and, and I will always maintain that. Now, there's a third somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where it went. I guess I got, like I said, it got lost in the trip to Virginia. I, maybe I put it in another bag, but usually I keep it in my computer backpack. So I'm going to make that's what I'm working on. These last three or four days, I'm downloading all the new um, uh, updates for Thunderbird, for Firefox, for Brave, all the browsers that I use. I've applied all the Windows updates on all three computers. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I've updated LibreOffice. That's what I use. I don't use Microsoft Office anymore. I'm, I'm not good. Are you going to pay money, a month or subscription to, to apply to uh, Microsoft 365? Well, that more power to you. I'm not going to use it. I, I want to, I want once and done. And I've already made a $50 contribution to LibreOffice. So don't tell me I don't pay for what I use. Uh, and that's what donationware is all about. You know, if you're going to use it, pay them. You know, that, that's what you got to do. Now, I, there, there are some things like uh, uh, Revo uh, Uninstaller and, and CCleaner that I haven't uh, bought the, the updates, but I never saw where I needed them. But, you know, I probably will someday, you know, when I can afford it. Because uh, they've served me well over the years. Uh, so anyway, I guess that's about it. You got to pay attention to your computer, especially if you're a videographer or a YouTuber, or I don't care what you're doing at banking, you know, for your banking, you've got to keep those updates. And that's, that's what I've been working on for three straight days, other than, you know, making an occasional video. All right. So peace out, stay free. I am going to do the mantra on this video. Because uh, guess what? Uh, we had a huge, uh, let's look, talk a little bit of news, a little bit of news. A uh, huge video came out and they showed the uh, Biden-Harris uh, administration flying planes into uh, West, West Chester, uh, New York, dumping uh, illegal immigrants right out of the plane and uh, shipping them all over the country. Uh, this is, this is um, it's an invasion, people. Your, your government has abandoned you. They, they no longer represent you in any way, shape, or fashion. The Democrats have lost their gosh dang minds. They're for open borders. They're for shipping immigrants all over the country. I don't care what you say. I, I, if you're a Democrat, I can't believe that you believe in this. That, that you want, and these, a lot of them are criminals, drug dealers. This is, this is, our government is doing human trafficking. I can't even, I never thought in my lifetime I would see something like this. And the Democrats are all for it. The Democrats are all for it. If you're a Democrat, get the hell out of Florida. Get the hell out of Florida. Go move to New York. Move to California. Get, get to your Democrat states. You were all for illegal immigration. You want them shipped all over the country. You want fentanyl pouring across the border. This is what you're all for. That's all I got to say. All right, good to be in the free state of Republican Florida, where we are free to come and do as we please. We have no vaccine mandates. We have no stab requirements. We have no mask requirements. 
And we're free to come and do as we please. Once again, peace out. Stay free.